joined here by Ansema, who is the Lord of the Strings. <laughs> let's see those. Let's see those bad boys. There we go. Hamstrings. Wow, Lord of the Strings. Now let's take a look at what we're talking about. So. We're not getting in this video into things like Romanian deadlifts and stuff like that. We've covered that in other videos. We're talking about knee flexion, hamstring mm -hmm. curls. And we just wanna break down the difference between a hamstring curl and a Nordic and why they're both awesome. So on something like a hamstring curl, there's a lot of different benches for it. But notice how in this position, like I could stay here all day. Yep. The hamstring is stretched out. But now this position is the tougher side of it, the short range. Mm -hmm. Now in this position, where it's easier in the long range. I can pump more reps really safely. Yeah. I can do this more often. I can do this safely. I can get blood flow that way. But the Nordic is gonna to be totally right. different. Do you care if people do the prone versus the seated hamstring curl? Is there one that's better or is it even for you? I'm a fan of all of them. I would say I think I like the lying version best because I can go harder. What do you think? Um, for some people within like They've done EKG studies on hamstring growth, and the seated tends to do better for that. Wow. But I like I like the way seated feels. I also oh. like the way prone feels. But yeah. for this, I don't know. My, my conclusion would be try it every other week, mm -hmm. seated and lying, see what you like best. There we go. Now, a leg curl, a hamstring curl, I consider that essential. Anyone can do it. You can set up 10 pounds, 20 pounds. That's great to have. Nordics changed my life. I think they might be the number one exercise to bulletproof the ligaments of your knee. They really help you to jump off one foot where you have all that force going in that position. You have to keep pulling the ground. So for speed, for jumping off one foot, Nordics changed my life. For bulletproofing my knees, they changed my life. But no, I don't think a Nordic is an essential. So in my program, I have two leg days and I still think it's smarter. One day do the hamstring curl machine three sets, something like 15 reps, get more blood flow, get more reps. The other day you could do like three sets of five and Seema is gonna show us using a powerlifting belt, some Nordics, and then I'll try it after him with the powerlifting belt. Now notice this position. This is the toughest position of the hamstring curl. Mm -hmm. This is the easiest position of a Nordic. That's what yeah. we're trying to get across with this video. Now as he lowers, go ahead, as it goes into the longer range, it gets tougher. So long range exercises tend to be more for bulletproofing. Why don't you go all the way down this one, nice, and then explode through the glute, boom. Break it down for us. How'd you get so good at this? You're like 240, all muscle. Well, I started off with the regression you were talking about because when I started this earlier last year, doing a rep was very difficult. And as you mentioned though, a cool regression, and it's not cheating, it's a regression, is if you come with your hips yeah. and you come right here. Every regression is valid. Regressions should be viewed as ways to make more progress rather than forcing yourself through something you can't do. And then now slowly you can. Now he's world class at Nordics, and this is going to allow him to have super bulletproof hamstrings. So that's my advice: one day Nordics, one day hamstring curl machine. When in doubt, just do the hamstring curl yeah. machine. So when in doubt, you would do seated hamstring curls one day, lying hamstring curls the other day. See if there's one you like best. Maybe you like to alternate them. And if you want to try to get freaky bulletproof hamstrings, freaky athleticism, then the Nordic is your friend. Do you go a little tighter on it even? I go as tight as I possibly can, so I don't, well, my legs don't come out at all. Well, that's pretty good. That's good. I'll do it right here. So, with this, I don't have an opinion on form. Mm. I copy the form of Marty St. Louis. Marty was an undrafted hockey player, went on to be Stanley Cup champion, MVP, and in his late 30s, he was leading the league in scoring. Still one of the fastest guys and out of 25 NHL players in his gym, he was the only one who could do this, which is out of the bottom position, Woo! out of the bottom position, he would contract his glutes, then pull the hamstring and make it up. So if you went, if you went ass first, almost anyone could do that. Mm -hmm. So he was the only one in his gym who could contract the glute. That brings the abs off the bench, pull with the hamstring. Now you have a measurable thing. So. I keep it that simple these days. I don't go fancier than that. Mm -hmm. I think just continuing to master that once a week, hamstring curls, and maybe you could be, maybe I could be a little more like this guy, the Lord of the Strings. Straight up though, 
by progressing that when he was showing me how to progress it last year, getting stronger with the Nordics has made a massive difference with my knees. And I can hop, like I've pulled my hamstrings multiple times by hopping into sprints. Whoa. I don't pull my hamstrings anymore. That's amazing. At all. So it's, it's like, it's a super crazy bulletproof. Hell yeah. Strength is never weakness, weakness is never strength. Just know your short range and your long range and know how to get healing or bulletproofing, whatever you need. Catch y'all later.